Another West Indian whose work has been associated with NASA is Jamaican Robert Rashford, an aeronautical engineer with over 24 years experience in the field. His company, Genesis Engineering Solutions, develops systems for the testing and certification of space flight hardware and equipment. One of the key achievements I think in my career, I would say, is uh, working on the team that went out to the first repair of the Hubble Space Telescope mission. Uh, that's what excited because it's a worldwide event. Uh, it was, I think, the pathfinder for building of the, the, the International Space Station. And why that was, here we had an uh, orbiting body that we set up a telescope that in, in all respect was not able to function um, and read the stars or read the galaxy in 2020 vision. And so what NASA did, they put together a team of scientists, a team of engineers like myself that would allow us to go out in space and perform surgery on a large operating um, device. And so we were able to dock, that was the first time we were able to dock with a, with a rotating body. Um, picture this if you're traveling at 17,500 miles per second and another body is traveling as fast and we now grapple with it, attached to it, and we were in the midst of that doing spacewalk up to nine hours per day, changing out those instruments, um, I think was one of the great achievements and it went out with a success because the Hubble Space Telescope is still functioning today uh, with a 2020 vision because of that um, activity that we did. Who is Robert Rashford? His knack for innovation came as a child growing up in Kingston, Jamaica. One of the things that we had to do growing up is to be very innovative in some of the toys that I had to do and that's typical of us that grew up in the in the 60s where back in Jamaica if you want to come up with a, a toy you had to use some of the remains from uh, the cotton reel after the, the threads are all off to build your trucks and toys and I think that played a key role in, in my um, intuition and love for the sciences because I had to use those uh, sets of, of um, uh, intuitive you know, innovative ways to make toys so we could entertain ourselves. That then later led me to, you know, building some of the most sophisticated systems that fly for NASA today. Among his inventions are the development of a dry laser cleaning tool for flat panel displays, the co-invention of the world's first portable real-time 3D non-destructive examination system, and spacecraft support systems for the upper atmosphere research satellite, this technology was reused by NASA to support key research for the Hubble Space Telescope mission in 1997. He participated on a team to service all Hubble Space Service missions since 1993. He is currently the acting instrument manager at NASA, developing a new instrument to replace the Hubble Space Telescope. I'm on a team here at NASA that's building the first set of what is known as micro shutters. Uh, which is known as the nanotechnology. And nanotechnology is taking devices and miniaturizing them so you, you, you really can't see them with the naked eye. You can only see them under a microscope. But they are, they are able to produce information, they're able to w operate uh, in such a way just as effective as a large device. So the nanotechnology is not only going to have a key role in electronic devices but also in biomedical um, industry where we can now put devices sometimes implant them in your body pumps um, pacemakers and, and devices like that that will have a tremendous effect in the in the medical arena Robert Rashford is the recipient of many awards including four NASA Achievement Awards and an award in 2002 from the Institute of Caribbean Studies for excellence in science and technology. I think the advice I'd give to um, youngsters is definitely to um, focus on you know, math, uh, physics, chemistry, biology, and you know, definitely the arts too, so you have a balance. Uh, those are important, uh, and strangely enough, they're not as difficult as the, the, the I would call, refer to as the non-traditional sciences. And the reason for that is, uh, once you understand the equations that uh, involve in, in physics, once you understand the rules in mathematics, they never change. They're universal. And so, uh, if you're looking for, um, I, I would say, a career that spans all you know, boundaries, then the sciences are one that does that.